So, welcome back to another Believe in Voight. And this time I'm going to be using a Chansey team. Not quite Copper Raja, but that will be coming next week, don't worry. Um, because two things, I've moved places, like you can probably see, this is a different place. I've moved to a different place, and also there was the Players' Cup uh, that started this weekend, just gone. And all my Pokemon, every like all my Pokemon preparation was for that Players' Cup, so um, I didn't want to try and do videos focusing on another team uh, while I was preparing for the Players' Cup, because I am taking that very seriously. Um, so, haven't built a Copper Raja team yet. Uh, I did build this team for the Victory Road European Cup, but this was thrown together in about five minutes, and I didn't practice with it at all, but I was able to, to get the win there. But I'm going to be using this team for this week, and then I'll be using the Copper Raja afterwards, because now, now I have my Players' Cup team, and it started, then I can actually focus on other things Pokemon now, so but for now I will just be using a team that I actually have, so it's going to be fun, like this this team is interesting, when you see Chansey you probably won't expect what's coming, but I am now a filthy Chansey player, <laughs> so it works actually pretty well, synergizes with the Lapras very well, as so long as they don't taunt you or fake you out turn one, then they're forcing it. It's their problem. But we will see. Yeah, that was instinctual. Like, I don't need to press X anymore. It's right there. You know, my webcam will slightly cut off that for gouging, but that's fine. This is fine. Okay. Here we go, Chansey Lapras. Dragon's always fantastic here if no trick room goes up. And I think I need to bring Dragalgy just because... To bring Extra Drill just because of that Dragalgy. Just in case. So that seems pretty straightforward. As long as they don't re lead Rillaboom, I should be absolutely sorted. So, let's hope for no Rillaboom. If there is a Rillaboom, awkward. I mean, that's going to be like the motto of VGC20 now for me, isn't it? because Rillaboom is everywhere. It's even on my team, because it is actually fantastic, so it makes sense. And it is quite nice to have a Pokemon overtake Togekiss in terms of usage. I'm sure all the people complaining that um, they only ever see the same Pokemon are quite pleased that something overtook Rillaboom. But there is Rillaboom. So unfortunately, I think that means I do need to Dynamax my Lapras. No, it doesn't. I can just switch into Dracozolt immediately. That's absolutely fine. So I can go for Gravity and switch out Lapras into Dracozolt because it is going to resist. But unfortunately, didn't let me do my thing. Which you've obviously seen already because I've been using Gravity all through. Um, the previous series. No reason to stop now. We've got a new gravity user in, in Chansey. This Chansey's way better than the minimized one. I mean, anything's better than the minimized Chansey, but there we go. Especially with a new timer. Minimized Chansey has become a lot less viable going back to 15 minutes of your time. Not your time, but total time. See? Everyone always forces the blind sing. It's their problem. That was a very strong play. But I'm okay with that. So I'm going to go for gravity once again. And I'm going to go for a max flare into the Rillaboom. Don't want to set up electric terrain because I want to sing things. So we'll have to see if the Rillaboom or the Dracozole is going to move first here. If the Dracozole outspeeds, I'm in an absolutely fantastic position. If the Rillaboom outspeeds, then Chansey probably won't be able to get any speed. Rillaboom does outspeed, but it's just knockoff. That's not the worst. Like, that is acceptable. This should pay over the, the Rillaboom. And then my Lapras has been freed up a lot. And 
if they do trick room here, Chansey is still pretty slow. Yeah, they do trick room, that's fine. So let's see what the speed's on there, Pokemon are like, because I'm definitely going to be singing whatever comes in. It's Lapras. That's fine, they're going to go for Resonance into Drakazog, but I, I will eat that with myself best. And then they will go to sleep. But it is Dragalti, so I will probably not eat that. But then they have to go to sleep or take the Whirlwind, so I am fine with either situation. So long as there's no ally switch coming out, this should be fine. I would wager, though, that it's going to be a Bulldoze. This looks like Bulldoze weakness policy Dragalti to me. Now, with the Evo like knocked off, Chansey probably still takes the Evo out for his tip if it doesn't get bulldozed. If it does get bulldozed, he can take out Chansey, but then he's taken the Evo So, he has to ally switch here for this to go wrong. But it is bulldozed, so he's either going to sleep or losing the Galgi, so this is fine. I mean, not saying he is 91% accurate, so I shouldn't say he is going to sleep, because he may not be going to sleep. I very much hope he's going to sleep, because you would assume this is going to distract as well. And this is going to KO with the bulldog. And now, Chansey just needs to be a little bit accurate. Show why you're better than Minimize. Good work, Fancy. So now they're going to have a guaranteed turn sleep. And hopefully they're going to lose both turns of Dynamax. So now, I can go into Lapras and just start firing off this. Because Gravity still up every move on Lapras will hit, apart from the Sing, which may, may miss. But I could still go for Sing into the... Dust to get my throat spray as well, but the problem with that is if they get a first turn wait, then they'll be able to KO my Lapras with the Wormwind. So it may just be better to just start blizzarding slash high horsepowering. In fact, I could go into Excadrill instead. that should be stronger against the Dragalti. I can go for Sing into the Dust Clops. Now how risky am I feeling? Because if I go for Swords Dance and they don't wake up first turn, I think actually, no, this, this is okay. Because if I go for Swords Dance, next turn I'll go for Sing and High Horsepower into the Dragalti. Okay, so I won't be doing that. We're going to still have this awkward mind game now. So they did have Ally Switch. So now... I'm sending some trick rooms left. Trick room, all those, this one, two more after this, right? Should be two turns. Yeah. That's also two turns of gravity. So, now, wonderful mind game. I'm going to do what I said I was going to do. I'm going to sing in high voice power. Thank you very much. Now your Dragaudi is definitely KO'd if you don't wake up, so I very much appreciate not a first turn wake here. Because they've just activated my weakness policy. Which is very, very kind of them. Now just don't wake up and launch a geyser, please. Go. But we're still fine as long as this sink hits. Or Dragalgi is just not weak, like not strong without its adaptability. So that's absolutely absolutely fine now. Didn't factor in that Geyser wasn't adaptability boosted. And my extra drill is very bulky. So extra drill is just a piece. And this is gonna KO Dragalgi. Very good. So now I don't think we can break my level. What's that? Bulldoze, Ally Switch, Trick Room, Nightshade. Okay. 
My my chan my Chansey can't touch the dust bobs. They they can hit me. But I think I would still that's totally just okay. That's good for Lapras then. Um especially because Chansey is going to underspeed that Toga Kiss. That still is in Nightshade range though. So I think it's better to switch out into Lapras on the Nightshade. Because then Chansey will put the Tokus to sleep and Extra will be able to still play. I'm sacrificing a plus four here, but this is sometimes what you need to do. Like some people will just never switch out their boosted Pokemon. But it is the correct move, because Extra would have been KO'd. And I might as well just not have a KO'd Extra Drill. Have a sleeping Tokus, so yeah, like th th this is fine. The, the extra chip on Lapras is fine. Because now I can go for Gravity Sing, get my throat spray into the Dust Lops. This is good. And I still have an extra jewel that can iron head the Tokus whenever I want. Assuming it outspeeds, which we don't know. But so yeah. Don't don't it's fine to sacrifice your boost, even if it's plus four, even if it's plus six, it's fine to sacrifice your boost if it's actually the best play. I've got my throat spray now. That was not a gravity sing. Because he has bulldozed me. And I didn't factor that in, so we just hit a blind sing. So we take those. <laughs> he forced the blind sing. It was him. He bulldozed me. It's his problem. <laughs> and now I just miss it. <laughs> Amazing. I'm going to life to you. And miss it. Okay. Could get some flinches. That's reasonable damage, but no flinches. This probably goes to the to be fair. Very close. Probably should have cycled tossed. But I will seismic toss next turn. And does the dust box wake up? It does, okay. It does make shape. Okay. This isn't over if he clicks ally switch. Actually, I'm going to sing. Hmm. Should have sized the cost that turn. So it will depend on if the token is out of speed. So I can click Rock Slide, and then it will depend. I'm still going to click Resist. Hope he doesn't ally switch. Okay, that's fine. I have one then. So I know he doesn't have pain split, so he's not going to be able to heal himself. I shouldn't say I have one actually, because I could miss a sing and then nightshade. I am in nightshade range. But, uh, but actually, no, nightshade range with the um, yeah with the exit drill. So actually, no, I'm, it is not over. I still need to hit this sing. No, I don't. I can just click life dew forever. Life dew is safer. Sing can miss. Life dew puts me out of nightshade range. That's much better. Life Dew is the 100% win. How slow have I been put down? I haven't been paying attention to if I move first or last. It's minus two. I should, I should be moving first. I mean, it won't make any difference. If the Dust Bob's move before Chansey, then um, I will lose. But, and Gravity's up, right? So I can play High Horsepower instead. Yeah. So I will Life Dew. And High Horsepower. And that should be a two shot. This puts me out of the nightshade range. I'm pretty sure Bulldoze into nightshade wouldn't KO me, because another Bulldoze could put Ch Ch Chansey slower than, um, than Dust Lops, but this is fine. Yeah, the game is over now. I was closer than it should have been. But it's Chansey putting in the work. Excellent, excellent. <laughs> that was a good game. I'm, 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 I'm content with that. So I did get to show um, 
chance of clipping the button. That's insane. Dra Dra Dragality is very strong with adaptability, but yeah. And it wasn't off Hydro Pump. I think if it was off Hydro Pump, it wouldn't have made a difference because it was only 10 base power. Forward, but yeah. And he was min speed as well, so. If he wasn't min speed, he could have outsped the chance he got the Nightshade off and then he would have won. Would he have won? No, he wouldn't have won because I'd have just clicked Life Do until the time, the time ran out. So actually, I would have still won. 108, okay. We'll never know if I did or did not outspeed that Tokus, but I probably did. That is a good set. That's pretty much the one I have. What was the one I did myself best yet? I said the was and it was like all. Cool. Let's get another one now. It's a good first try. This chance might be legit. It is amusing that it might be good yet. Like, even, even outside of just other, like, sing uses and stuff, it's like, it's bulky enough to be able to just set the gravity and sing if it wants to. If it's supported well enough. Instinctual as well. Still, I'm still gonna be clicking that X every time. That is just muscle memory at this point. They've got a Dracozolt themselves. They've got Ditto, interestingly. Don't think I can go Lapras because of their Dracozolt. Because Dracozo is one of the few things that can Oko Lapras, even in Dynamax. Instead, I'm gonna go Chansey X Control. Because they can't easily break the Chansey outside of the Dracozo, and then X Control is somewhat covering the Dracozo. I will bring my own. I will bring Volcarona purely for the Corbonite. I'm not sure which Pokemon I want to Dynamax here. Like if he leads with a Dracozol, I may need to Dynamax to be able to survive a Quake and then fire up a um, Rockfall. It would be a Rockfall first, I think, to get my speed. Because then I can fire up the Quake next turn. That's not what I expected, but it is acceptable. So I'm going to go for Gravity and a Sword Stance. It's one of the nice things that I like to do with this team. I, I click like Gravity and Sword Stance. They have to pretty much pick. Are they going to deal with the extra drill or focus down the, the Sing Pokemon? If they focus down the Sing Pokemon, I've got to set up a Pokemon that's going to do huge damage. If they focus down the setup Pokemon, that means they're probably going to sleep. That's a good move. Body Press might be me now. Um, yeah, if they focus down the, the booster Pokemon, I, I get to Sing and then boost with another Pokemon that will come in. It's just Iron Defense. That's fine, because I'll deal with that with Volcarona eventually. To be fair, I can deal with it with the extra drum. I think I will be going for a Rockfall. Body Press will KO the Chansey now. But Rockfall is pretty good here. And I will like do. Instead of Sing, because Corviknight so often carry Lumberry, I'm going for Rockfall into the Noiva. So if they body press the extra drill at, at some point, it will activate my weakness policy and I will be set. And it will still do big damage because of the iron defense. Like, I can ignore the Corv Knight until I can just click Heat Wave at one point. The only bad thing would be if they Dynamax and have Brave Bird so that they can go for Air Streams to put themselves faster than they That would be the only bad thing. They don't click Iron Defense and they don't Dynamax, I can Quake it next turn. They didn't Dynamax, so that's why Tailwind is reasonable actually. But saw my extra drill speed there, Corbin like first. Oh, that was a mistake. That was a big mistake for them. Because now I'm pretty sure I can KO the Corbinite pretty easily. With a Quake. 
and I'm life doing to get my HP back, so this is a very good plan. Focus up Noiva, it doesn't matter, because they'll be KO'd to the Sandstorm, so that's good. That sounds like a motorbike going outside my house, which you can probably hear. And saw the life do do about, not the life do, the body press do about half to the Excadrill, and now I am out of range of the next body press, so this is lovely. So I will go for Sing in, on whatever comes in and Quake into the ball. It's unlikely the Pokemon that comes in can deal with Excadrill. Maybe Rotom can. Well, uh, there was Ditto, but that would copy Chansey. And then they can start Sing, to be fair. Um, Dracozolt, actually. Dracozolt would deal with the um, Excadrill, but in order to deal with it, they are copying my Chansey. Why I have to deal with my own chance? I guess I got my Draxel, and they don't have EVO light. That's actually that's fine. They don't have EVO light, so I'm going to sing the Disso, and I'm going to quake. I'm going to just double check. Like I always in this situation, I always double check is gravity up because I don't want to look like a fool, which I very often do. But I can quake this Corbin. Could have gone for um, Steel Spike into the into the Chansey and sung the Corviknight, but because Corviknights are so often non berry, I think this is the better one. But this will still KO, because I'm plus four thanks to their body press, they were only plus two. We'll see if the Disso's Choice Scarf, if it is Choice Scarf, Extra Joe's probably going to sleep, but then so are they. And then I'll be able to sing where it comes in and then we'll just sort it out. No, they just went for the that is something I've wondered. Like, I'm pretty sure I know the answer. I think it's no. Does Seismic Toss activate a weakness policy? Like, could I Seismic Toss my own exit drill? And I should should have found that out by now. I'm pretty sure Nightshade doesn't activate a weakness policy, so Seismic Toss should. He is still in Tailwind, so whatever comes in, could definitely still ask. It is the Arcanine. Okay. So now he has to choose, is he going to sleep or is he taking a quake? Which is one of the nice things I like about this team, because like I, I can force them to choose two bad things. What's the thing in chess called? Something like Zip Spang, isn't it? That's probably slightly off, but it's something like that, where you force your, po your opponent to do something bad. Because now they have to either deal with my extra drill with a Dynamax Arcanine, or even not a Dynamax. If they deal with my extra drill, like this, then they're going to sleep. And if they deal with my chances to stop the sleep, they are KO'd. So, like, this is this is forcing the opponent. And this is one of, one of the lovely things I like about Gravity Sing. Or at least the Gravity Sing teams that I've made. Like, they can force these to the bank. And, go to the uh, and someone who knows, tell me in the comments if I said that right. So, it's fine. Uh, I can force these kind of situations. So, he's going to most likely KO the expert girl. But, hopefully, again, 91% accurate, hopefully he is going to sleep. And even if he doesn't, unless he has play rough on his Arcanine, Dracozol kind of wins as well. Because you would assume the Ditto's choice card is to side him, so he wouldn't be able to. That's the assumption I made. Especially because he's moved first twice now. And it did hit, so I should be fine. He turns the gravity to left. Gravity didn't end that turn, so I can go into, into Dracozol. There's one turn. Okay, that's fine. Because now, do I want to fight horsepower the Arcanine eventually? Or do I deal with the Chansey just now? Because the Arcanine's definitely got a turn to sleep. Could life do up my Chansey a bit? I'm going to deal with the Ditto for now. So I want to just hit the Arcanine with 5 horsepower afterwards. I guess because I won't be able to gravity first, I will be hitting an 80% accurate. Um, yeah, Seismic Toss again, because that would sort of surely be insane if it wasn't a close guard, so that's fine. And this probably gives a chance if it's not EVO like anyway, so yeah. 
No, I'll get a bit of chip with the cycle toss. And the next turn I'll quick grab to high horsepower. Which is stronger actually, high horsepower or outrage? Outrage 20, 18, 5, 190. So high horsepower is slightly stronger. So I put yeah, gravity and ended, right? Definitely ended. Yeah. So gravity. And high horsepower. I'm gonna miss this because hustle is 20% accurate. But then I've still got a Volcarona waiting for the back. And he did wake up, to be fair. And he did have play rough. So I can't sing anymore. Got a bit more interesting. Still think I'm okay. Because he's Life Orb, he's surely got no Bolt. He set up the Sun for Volcarona, and I can't miss because I'm setting up the Gravity. So I'll get a single target Life Orb Heat Wave in the Sun against an Arcanine when it's not Dynamax anymore. And if he doesn't deal with the Volcarona this turn, I'm following up with the Seismic Toss. I can't sing anymore because of that Starfall. So he did have the correct move there with the Play Rough. <laughs> targets the Chansey down this turn, then he's going to take a huge amount of recoil if it's Flavitz, so I will Seismic Toss, and I will Heat Wave, and I'm very confident this combination will KO a Life Orb Arcanine, because it should have no Volk, and my Volcarona uh, is, is max speed, so it will outspeed any Arcanine. We'll have to see, because it is, is sun, sun boosted, single target, Life Orb Heat Wave. Like, that's Seismic Toss range, so, yeah, we sorted. Oh, please play this Chansey. Take all this recoil! No, that's the top right. Like, that's gonna KO, but he probably KOs himself to the recoil anyway. The recoil and the light ball. So, I was sorted in that endgame. Yeah, he does KO himself, so Chansey doesn't get the KO, unfortunately, but... Chansey is still putting in the work. Like, that's two games. Two games that Chansey has definitely put in the work, and... Yeah, I'm going to be using the Chansey for the rest of the week. Copperager will be coming, don't worry, but um, it's going to be Chansey for this week.